Hello everyone, myself Pirek Suran. I am B.Tech Computer Science Engineering, final year student. I am going to present our project, Break Tumor Reduction Using Data Mining. My project was throughout guided by Dr. S.P. Raja. Here comes the abstract. Brain tumor reduction is a process for identifying the tumor present in the brain. Brain tumor patients often suffer from blood loss, movement control loss, vision loss and even hormone changes too. In order to save the time and burden of the doctor, there is a need for automation of brain tumor reduction. By using MRI scan images, it can be processed and finally the tumor can be detected at the end of the project. The whole process of brain tumor detection from an MRI scan images can be classified of four different categories like data processing, segmentation, feature extraction and noise reduction. In problem statement, for patients with brain tumor, physical symptoms vary from patient to patient. Some patients doesn't even show any general symptoms. Some patients they show general symptoms like blood clot, vision loss and even nervous disorders too. MRI scans of patients are more reliable than physical symptoms. In such type of tumors like uh, gliomas and glioblastomas, detection is very hard to find the tumor present in the brain. Existing system In existing system, we used to scan CD scan and MRI scan. CD scan is otherwise called as computer tomography scan and are formerly called as CAT scan makes use of computer progress combinations of many x-ray measurements taken from different angles to produce cross-sectional images of specific areas of a scanned object. CT scan is used to allowing the user to see inside the object without cutting. Next MRI scan. MRI scan is otherwise called as magnetic resonance imaging. It is a medical imaging technique used in radiography to form pictures of the anatomy and physiography process of the body in both health and disease. MRI scanners use magnetic fields and magnetic field gradients, radio waves to generate images of the organs in the body. Proposed system. In our project, first we take MRI scan images as an input in the form of data set from the KU and these data sets will be trained according to the given algorithms. These trained data will be processed next under data mining. The image will be extracted based on pixel wise image. As a result, the final output will be a brain tumor reduction and will be shown as an image that will be highlighted. This is the architecture of our project. Uh, we use MRI scan images as a data set and a continuous process can be done. In each process there will be a separate algorithm to be used in our project. At last, finally the tumor can be detected um, by using uh, algorithms and the process can be done. Here are the explanations of the architecture. We use MRI scan images as a data set will be taken from the Kegel and the image will be extracted in x-ray axis based on the pixel wise. And next, uh, the process will be a data processing. In data processing, we use a Gaussian blur algorithm. Gaussian blur algorithm is a square array of pixels where the pixel value responded to the values of a Gaussian curve. Where the Gaussian blur is used to reduce the noise of the image and improve the quality of the image. After completing the noise the image, the RGB image will be converted into grayscale image. And the next process will be segmentation. In segmentation part, we use watershed algorithm. A watershed algorithm, it is used to transforming a grayscale image. In watershed algorithm, we can easily define the tumor image and the non-tumor image with a colorful extraction. And the next process will be a future extraction. It is used to extract the features from the image as we need to do binary classifications of them which needs these features to get trained on it. In implementation process, the whole project is basically divided into four major sections namely data processing, segmentation, future extraction and noise reduction. Data processing. 
In data processing, we used memories and images as a data set will be taken from the Kaggle. In data processing, we used Gaussian blur as an algorithm. Gaussian blur is plays an important role. It is used to reduce the noise of the MRI scan images, such as improving the signal to noise ratio, irrelevant noise in the background, and also it is used to improve the quality of the images. And next, the Gaussian blur it is used to improve the clarity of the raw MRI scan images. The image will be extracted in X ray axis based on the pixel size. Next, the segmentation part. In segmentation part, we use watershed algorithm. Watershed algorithm is mainly it is used to transform the image into a grayscale image. In our project, we use MRI scan image it to be converted into grayscale image. After segmentation, there will be a difference between an image with a tumor and without a tumor. The segmentation can be done only by watershed algorithm. Future extraction. Future extraction, we need to extract some features from images as we need to do a binary classification of them using a classifier which need these features to get trained on it. Edge detection is being used to change the viewpoint changes and typically reflects the geometry of the scene. In future extractions, we use an image analyzing technique is a type that isolates object by converting grayscale images into binary scale images. Grayscale images in the sense it will be converted into black to white and white to black colors by using a concept of threshold in Python. And the next process is noise selection. Noise selection is mainly used to reduce the noise of the image. Uh, noise selection can be done at the end of the project, the tumor detection. After the detections of the tumor, the noise selection is being used by median filter. Median filter is a non-linear filter that is commonly used as a simple way to reduce the noise of the image and is used to improve the image quality. Conclusion The output represents a comparative study of implementation using tumor detection. At the end of the process, the tumor is extracted from an MR scanned images and it will be positioned exactly at what location the tumor is presented in an x axis of x y axis and the shape also can be determined the experimental results indicate not only defects the problem but also provide fast results and if uh, to ensure that the tumor persons can be operated quickly here i will show the output of our project here we done coding in python programming language in this file, be your folder. There will be a two folders, F1A and F1B. These two folders consist of data sets. Inside the data sets, there will be MRI scan images. And another folder, there will be a data set called MRI scan images. These two data sets are to be imported in our code for the execution purposes. This is the file tumor extraction. We are going to execute this file for the execute output of our project. We are going to upload the tumor extraction file in Google Collapse and after uploading the code in the Google Collapse, the code is presented. Here I am going to run each and every code present in all the cells. I am going to click run all. The code will be run simultaneously and here see the OpenCV Python is one of the package in Python library functions and the packages are to be installed at first. Then the, pro then the program will be executed. After installing the packages like OpenCV, NumPy, VTK, NumPyClip, all the packages are running successfully and executed successfully. And after the installations of the packages, here we are going to import the packages by using import function. The pa packages are imported. After the imported, we use Fig1. Fig1A is the data set consists of MRI images. It's going to read all the images in the data set and we use VDK DICOM image reader. DICOM in the sense digital image communication in medicine is going to read the image how the tumor is detected, how the tumor will be presented and then it's going to set a directory and update it. And next, and next the data is being extended by HN keyword and it's going to load the dimensions and constant 
pixel spacing and next the MRI images are to be stored in a numpy array after the detection and the MRI the images can be stored in a numpy array and next we use a array decom uh, array decom is to be converted into vtk into numpy and we are going to reshape the size of the image into 2d to 3d or 1d to 2d shaping for the improvement of the quality of the image in this process data processing is used as algorithm it is used to import the MRI scan images from the data set and the image can be imported in a grayscale graph of xy axis in next process the image can be converted into grayscale image by using rgb to gray keyboard in next process the watershed algorithm is being used to detect the exact position and shape of the tumor in this process we use future extraction in future extraction there will be a threshold concept which is used for converting the image into grayscale image in which it converts white to black and black to white color um, for the detections of tumor shape size exactly and the next process is gaussian blur gaussian blur is used to reduce the noise of the image and irrelevant noise around the background for the better shape and size of the tumor exactly and the picture is executed the next process again the threshold is being used for the improvement and quality of the image uh, and lost finally the output of is detected the brain tumor detection is done and the tumor is detected the shape and size and the length has also be detected thank you